Okay, so I want to run you through the basics of why we're using Trello, um, as well as how to use it most effectively to track our deadlines for the student newspaper. So when you log into your Trello account, which you should have received an invite from me um, to create an account, once you log in, you're going to see a home page that I'm assuming looks very similar to mine. Um, you have your personal boards up here at the top. Any boards you create for personal use or for other classes, those won't be seen by the, the newspaper staff members. Um, you should see an Eagle Tech news board here as well as our um, sub boards for each of our month's deadlines and I have us going out till April right now. So if you click the overview button it should pull up the Eagle Tech News uh, page and then again you should see the, or the My Organization boards are the ones that I've created um, down here below. Now you do have the ability to create boards however um, you really don't need to do that. Um, you want to make sure that you're still tracking your deadlines on our deadline boards because this is where other uh, staff members are going to look. This is where Mr. Stanzak and I are going to be looking as well as the editors. So once we go into um, the month that we're currently in, and again we'll use the February board all throughout February, um, even if your deadline is the first day of February or the last day of February, this is a b the board that we're going to be looking at. So if you click on February deadlines, it's going to pull up the board page, um, which looks like this. You have a series of gray titled columns along the top here. And what those are is those columns take you all the way through a deadline for a single assignment. So I tried to think about the order in which I would go about doing a story, um, whether it's a photo story or a written story or a video. Now, photos and videos are going to have some um, other tasks that need to be completed, completed up at the top, but this is essentially our to-do list, and it's going to let Mr. Stanzak and I know, as well as the editors and the other students, where in the process your story is currently at. So, for example, we're going to be working with an example card that I created um, for a FAFSA story. So, looking at the basics, what is FAFSA, the deadlines, tips and tricks, as well as upcoming workshops, information that's going to be important to our senior students. Um, the story is currently assigned to me. It has my initials with it. And my deadline is set for February 20th. Um, I want to have that story completed before FAFSA is due, um, and actually February 20th is probably a pretty generous deadline. Um, we could almost go a week or two earlier than that to make this useful and relevant to students as well as parents. But that's beside the point. Um, if we're looking at what do I do with my card once I've started working on a story, well, these are drag and drop. So if I just grab my little card here and let's say I've scheduled an interview with Miss Waugh, I would move my card to the interview scheduled section. That lets us know that you're, you've started working on it, you're talking to some of your sources, and you're ready to go on an interview. Once you do that interview, you'll move your card over to tell us, hey, it worked out, we didn't reschedule, the interview is complete. Now, you very rarely do one interview. Um, either you're going to interview multiple people or you're going to interview somebody multiple times. So in that interview with Ms. Waugh, there may be other questions that came up that I may have to reschedule um, or schedule another interview to go back and speak with her as I start writing and working on the story and have more questions come up. So you may kind of go back and forth in this realm a couple times um, if you're doing multiple interviews or follow-up interviews. There's a spot for you to say, yes, I took a photo with my story. Um, we really should be putting photos, some type of photo, with every single story we do. It's going to look better uh, with the template we chose and on our home page. 
The next column is very, very important. Um, when you move to this column, what that does is that tells the editors that your story is ready to be edited. And that means at this point you've put your first draft on WordPress, you've added a new post, you've added your pictures, you've chosen your categories, your tags, all that information and you've clicked the little blue submit for review button in WordPress. Once you've done that and you slide your card over to this column, the editors know, okay, this person's story is ready to go, or at least they think it's ready to go. At that point, the editors can go in, they can uh, give you some feedback, and look at what's missing from your story, what needs to be edited, or what needs to be even double-checked. Um, and that can be something as small as the spelling of somebody's name. At that point, the editors will come into your card here on Trello, and they will leave you a comment letting you know what needs to be changed or what the issues are. They may also send you an email. We're kind of working out what that's going to look like for the editors. Once the editors do that, they're going to slide your card over to draft one edited. The editor should be the only one moving your card to that edited column. From that point, you have kind of three rounds. If you fix your draft and you resubmit it, then the editors can look at it again. Once they do, depending on if it's ready to go, your card might get moved to this final draft posted online. If they said, hey, this second draft looks great, we posted it, you're ready to go, your card could get moved to this column. If it still has some issues, it's not quite ready, then it may get moved to this reporter, must complete edits, and submit draft three. This process could go beyond draft three, but if you're being a diligent writer, a diligent reporter, and you're really listening to your editors and talking with the advisors, um, most likely you're not going to go beyond that third draft. So this is the basics. Um, moving your cards from column to column is going to be really important. And you can see right now, um, it really appears like none of us are doing anything on our articles. It doesn't look like the editors have anything to edit. Um, it doesn't look like anybody's really meeting any deadlines or getting anything done. So we need to make sure that we're sliding our cards as we're working so that we can really see and track where, you at, where you're at and where you might need help or where you might get stuck um, so that we can kind of nudge you along and help you as needed.